The Treaty of Versailles was a treaty proposed by the Allies after Germany lost the Great War. Germany was forced to agree, dissolving their monarchy and any dreams of empire forever. Lesser known was the loss of the city of Danzig, which was essentially given to the new Polish state that was created. By title, the city of Danzig was referred to as the Free City of Danzig. However, the term free was tossed around liberally during this time, even in referring to the least free of things. Poland controlled the railroads, the transportation of goods, ports, and all other means of economics as well as the military. Though, even Poland held political control over the city, the people living in Danzig weren't Polish, but Germans. Germans living under Polish control. So the obvious question raised is, what did the Danzig think of the Polish? Danzig was a crucial necessity to Poland, as the new Polish state relied heavily on access to the Baltic Sea for trade in and out of Europe, when common use of aircraft had been popularized yet. However, the citizens of Danzig didn't see this as a freedom from an unforgiving empire, but as a transition from one exploitive state to a worse one. Thank you! Thank you! Titan has freed us! Oh, I wouldn't say free. More like, under new management. <laughs> Poland was much more rich than the German Empire and relied more on trade. Danzig was one of their only easy accesses to trade, which they relied on as a necessity. So Danzig, and by proxy Danzigers, were exploited more heavily. Their economic sources were controlled significantly by Poland, and Danzig was told by the recently formed League of Nations that everything would be fine. However, everything wasn't fine. After due time and the rise of the Nazis, Danzigers got fed up with the looming Polish insistent tendencies, and many Danzigers even began supporting Nazism and escape from Poland to a new German state. However, Allied powers feared what a Danzig-aligned Germany would look like. So, conflict. Danzig began their armed revolution with the help of the Nazis to overtake the region. However, though many were keen on the idea of unity with Germany and nationalism, most Danzigers wanted a truly free republic. But this was denied during the German invasion of Poland and at the annexation of Danzig, where it became a part of Nazi Germany forcefully. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to start doing more history related shenanigans on this channel from now on. Maybe toss in some geography things and also some battle cats here and there if I'm feeling up for it. I have a full list of videos yet to come, so stay tuned. Goodbye!